Hey guys, it's Far here with a quick guide for AD Carry Maokai. Now before I get started, I just want to say thank you to the guys at Instalock for letting me use their song. They do a bunch of great stuff and I suggest you go check them out. There'll be a link at the end of the video and also in the description below. So AD Maokai is really strong in lane. This kit brings everything you need. It has a slow with the Q, a gap closer with your W, a heal with your passive and even poke with your E. The real question you should ask yourself is why would you not pick Maokai? He also has an element of surprise working in his favour because no one really expects the core of their health to suddenly disappear when they get punched in the face by a tree. So for mastery is around 13 offence, now this is because I'm a real man, but also because your ability is scale off of AP, so that means that dual penetration is going to be a ton of damage on your autos and abilities early. This is especially true because Maokai's base damage on his abilities is actually really high, so early on in the game you're pretty deadly. So for runes, ideally you want to run hybrid pen reds, as this is because of the dual penetration reasons I gave you earlier. For yellows you want to run armor to mitigate the AD's damage, for blues you want to run crit chance so you can cheese them even more with your red pot, and finally for quints you want to run AD so that when you do punch them you do a lot of damage. So for skill order you want to max your Q, E and then W taking a point your ultimate whenever available. This is just because your Q and your E are your two main damage sources. Now one thing to note is that if you are going to engage the enemy level 1 then you want to take your W because it actually does more damage but it's also a gap closer for when they flash. So for items you want to start fort pot and potions, now this is because the fort pot gives you more AD than the Doran's blade, and as I mentioned before the base damage on your abilities is actually really high, so when you combine that with the extra AD from the fort pot it's really easy for you to get kills early. So on your first back you probably want to buy a Doran's blade and work towards your zeal, and this is because the shiv is really good on Maokai, it's going to let you proc your passive more, it's also going to do a ton of damage combined with your abilities, and every time you punch someone it shoots out lightning. Now after that you want to move towards your infinity edge, now this is because the damage from the shiv proc and then the crit from the infinity edge is going to do a ton of damage and you'll easily be able to chunk a third to half of people's HP in one auto attack. Now after this you want to buy your last whisper so that your crits do even more damage. Finally you don't really need defensive items on Maokai, by this point in the game you should be killing everyone anyway so you just want to get some more attack damage and life steal with your bloodthirster. If you find yourself needing some armor against the enemy AD carry then you can buy the Iceborne Gauntlet, it'll increase your damage and it'll also give you that extra slow to chase people down. So when laning as Maokai you want to make sure you're always going aggressive. Remember with this setup your W does around 85 damage at level 1. Combine that with the red pot auto attack and it's really easy to secure that first blood. This is why I recommend laning with an aggressive support so that you can lock the enemy AD down while you punch them repeatedly in the face. Now top tip would be that most ADs are going to flash away from you because you're so manly. So you want to save your W until after they flash so you can close the gap on them and continue punching them. Now there is a very slight possibility that the enemy AD will outscale you so you need to make sure that you kill them as often as possible and don't just let them farm. So thanks for watching guys, it's a different feel to what I've done before so please let me know what you think in the comments below. As I said before, thanks to the Instalot guys for letting me use their song, you can go and check them out on the screen now or in the description below. They keep producing great content so it's definitely worth a check. As always if you enjoyed this video please do like and subscribe, go like my Facebook, follow me on Twitch and I'll catch you next time.